Item number, SCP-2686. Object class, Euclid. Special containment procedures. Due to its static and distant nature, complete containment of SCP-2686-1 and subsequently SCP-2686 is not at this time feasible. However, as a result of SCP-2686-1's proximity to outpost Thoth-1, Observation equipment has been located near SCP-2686-1, and personnel are to observe the area for any significant changes in conditions or unusual behavior on the part of SCP-2686. Additionally, personnel from Outpost Thoth-1 are to travel via assigned rover to SCP-2686-1 on a weekly basis in order to evaluate the status of SCP-2686. All images captured of SCP-2686-1 by non-Foundation organizations are to be edited in accordance with Security Regulation Document Thoth-1-F. Description SCP-2686 is an adult male human estimated to be approximately 75 years of age, currently located at within Mare Imbrium on the lunar surface. This location is designated as SCP-2686-1 and is detailed below. SCP-2686 is itself not visibly biologically anomalous, though has claimed in past interviews to possess anomalous capabilities, primarily those generally assigned in Welsh traditions originating in the early Middle Ages as belonging to a magician or wizard. These anomalous abilities include the ability to travel large distances instantaneously, the ability to project energy towards a target, the ability to transform its body at will into the shape of various animals, and several others. None of the abilities have at any point been observed by Foundation personnel. SCP-2686 has, at time of writing, only been seen to wear a single blue-green robe of coarse wool and a small gray nightcap. SCP-2686 is also known to at all times carry a moderately sized 85 to 90 centimeter, piece of oak wood which it uses as a walking cane. The entity will respond to most lines of inquiry, but will not answer any questions regarding its origins or nature in a direct manner, instead attempting to change the line of discussion to subjects of religion, mythology, folklore, philosophy, or historical events, both anomalous and mundane. The entity acts in a non-hostile manner when interviewed, but will refuse any suggestions by Foundation personnel that it leave SCP-2686-1. SCP-2686-1 is a spherical area of a radius of 45 meters located at on the lunar surface. The area has been reported by SCP-2686 to possess an atmosphere identical to that of Earth, but this cannot be confirmed due to the nature of the region. Objects which enter the area of SCP-2686-1 are immediately transported to the opposite side of the region without interacting with the intervening space. SCP-2686 has reported that this effect does not persist on the inside of SCP-2686-1. The area encompassed by SCP-2686-1 contains a large amount of soil and grass, along with various trees, primarily oak and ash, as well as a small residence constructed of a mixture of wood, thatch, and stone. The exact architecture of the structure does not specifically match any styles found on Earth, although the design is in line with what would be required by a single person living in a rural area. SCP-2686 has at several points been observed to produce food from within the structure, including fresh meats and fruits which could not reasonably have been acquired in the area or stored for the amount of time which SCP-2686-1 has been under observation. When questioned about this, SCP-2686 has claimed that said food was acquired by a cat apparently named Commodore Buckles, which SCP-2686 referred to as its, quote, animal companion, end quote. This entity has at no time been observed by Foundation personnel or by autonomous observation equipment. Interview Log Interviewed, SCP-2686 Interviewer, Agent B forward. As part of initial containment, Foundation personnel were tasked with interviewing the entity in an attempt to establish its history. The following interview was conducted by personnel stationed at Outpost Thoth-1, three days following the discovery of SCP-2686-1. Begin log. Hello, sir. Do you mind if I ask your name? 
I am known as the Great Wizard Nyperius, Lord of the Moon and Stars Above. I see. And could you describe for me how it is you came to reside on the surface of the moon? You dare question me, mortal man? If you don't want to tell us, that's perfectly all right. Now, moving on. Wait, wait. You're giving up just like that? Don't even want to ask me for my ancient wisdom? Maybe seek the secrets of the stars? And of your future? Not particularly. Mostly just taking down physical information at this point in time. Now then, if you could provide us with your date and place of birth... How we... dare you! I will have you know that in my day, I was the greatest wizard of them all! Thousands sought my wisdom and magic to help them in their noble quest! <laughs> Only the most powerful could reach my ancient wizardly sanctum atop the highest mountain in the land! But still there were too many! And I used my awesome might to transport my home to this distant land where only the truest of heart could seek my wisdom. I see. And when would you say that this change in location occurred? Oh, well, I have lived in this land for nigh on 300 years, growing in power every day. And in that time period, how many persons have visited this location? An approximate figure would be fine. Uh, well, you see... The thing about that, there haven't actually been any, save you. Surely you've got a quest you need aid in, yes? Well, we could use some biographical information, if that wouldn't be too much trouble. Well, I'd hardly call that a quest. Only the truest of heroes deserve my power. Then why do you not just go back to wherever it is you came from? I don't think you'll be getting much anyone here, do you? It's a bit out of the way, isn't it? Well, the thing is, though, I am a moon wizard, after all. Yes, and? That means that my power is divined from the light of the moon above, you know? Right. And we are on the moon itself, after all. I see. Where the moonlight is rather below. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. End log. Closing statement. It has been determined that SCP-2686, in its current state, poses no actual threat to the Foundation or its holdings, but steps should be taken to ensure that it does not leave the surface of the moon. Footnote. Meats noted by observers to consist of various livestock and reported by SCP-2686 to also include gazelle, caribou, blue whale, and griffin.